So there's probably a lot of people that have heard the phrase、uh, "focusing on yourself, improving yourself,"、uh, that type of language, that type of、uh, like phraseology. I think there's a really interesting thing when people talk about improving yourself, especially when it comes to social media and the different things that are going on. The most Well, most people are pretty vague when they say "focus on yourself, improve yourself." But what really, what it really looks like to me when when somebody's improving themselves is they have something that they desperately want to work on. They desperately want to put their energy and time towards, and it doesn't necessarily have to be this big crazy thing. Like for the most part, all it really has to be is just you. When you're focusing on yourself, you're finding something that is meaningful to you, and you put all the effort that you need to put into making that more meaningful. I guess. So let me try it out. Sounds so vague, but if you want to have more meaningful relationships, that's a portion of improving yourself. If you want to. Um, exercise better, eat healthier. That's a portion of improving yourself. It it can be pretty vague because some people don't really need to improve what they're doing with their health. Some people don't need to improve with what they're doing、uh, with their relationships. So it, it's really just up to the individual what they need. And most people talk about those stereotypes, right? It's like you know, get fit. Do this, do that. It's, you know, all for your benefit. And while it is for your benefit, what's really going to be beneficial for you is when you start where you're at or lowest. Your if your lowest point right now is to just enjoy life more and being more positive. If you have a really hard time being more positive, then just find things to be more and more positive about and focus on that. Like you don't have to do it all at once. You don't have to create this big and grand. I'm changing everything about myself tomorrow. Just change one little thing about yourself that you think would really help you in all aspects of your life. And so it's all about that perspective. It's all about figuring out what are you, what it is you actually want to improve. For me, some of the biggest things I want to improve are are my health, and I want to improve the way that. I'm spending my time, and I I really like being able to just put myself out there and enjoy what I'm doing. That's one of the things that I'm doing with YouTube is I'm just trying to improve myself with the way that I present myself and my content, the way that I make my content. I'm not trying to play the algorithm anymore. I'm just trying to、uh, do something that I think could be beneficial for for other people. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to be perfect. And in fact, it's better if you're not perfect, because there's always something to look forward to. Then, if if you're just perfect, then there's nothing for you to really focus on. There's nothing for you to do. Nothing for you to improve on. And that it can get really boring and kind of existential. In the same way of trying, trying so hard to be perfect. If you try so hard to be perfect, and you're just not gonna. Reach that really? That's not really possible, and that's just going to make you depressed. That's going to make you feel like that all that effort was for nothing, or that all that effort was just,、um, you know, not worth it. But in reality, it, it is worth it. You just can't focus on all the things that went wrong. Focus on the things that that are good that help you actually improve. I mean, one of my favorite things about. You know, just finding faith and improving myself、uh, in a spiritual sense. Is I just I just feel pretty confident in myself. My confidence has improved the more that I've worked on my spirituality, and and I I don't worry about what other people think about because that's not what that's not what matters. Other people don't really matter when it comes to things that deal with just you, with individuals. You know, everyone matters in their own right, but. Their opinions are just opinions, and oftentimes they're just they're just wrong. They're they're not correct. Even really good opinions about people on the internet and stuff, you just you can't really gauge 
who you're actually engaging with. You, you don't know who they really are. And even people that you interact with on a daily, you might see the worst side of them every day, you know, or you might only see the best side of them every day. But the important thing is just to focus on on what you can do. You know, don't don't try to control what other people do. Just control what you can do because what you can do is the most important. It's what makes you you. It's what makes your life your life. It's not anybody else's life and nobody else's life is yours to control either. So just Learn to let go, learn to live, and to find things that you en enjoy um, doing, you know. Find those things that are good and for fun, but also find those things that you love working on, that you love giving your all for. Oh, jeez, it's, <laughs> it's lagging a bit there, but, but yeah, like, there's so much, so much to improve on in, in this life. You have so much time to do so as well. And that's why it's okay to take breaks and move on, but as long as you're not focusing on just being a, a nobody, and because cause truly you can't really be a nobody unless you decide that you just want to have no meaning in your life. That's, that's what a nobody is. A nobody isn't somebody who isn't famous. You don't have to be famous to be a somebody. You don't have to be uh, super... You don't have to have millions of likes or views to be a, to be a somebody. Being somebody is is just really... Someone, for, for me, I feel like I am an, a, an individual that has worth for many reasons. For spiritual reasons and for uh, just reasons of my relationships with my friends and my family and the the work and effort that I put into my co-workers uh, and all that stuff everything that I put in with work and 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 these just these little projects here these little experiments I do on YouTube that's just in a creative res uh, kind of a creative uh, Expression. I, I lost the, the word there. But, you know, you, you improve your creative expression, you improve how you're doing, then, I don't know, it's just an extra part of you. And you can learn to balance those things. It just takes a little bit of time. So all you got really got to do is just, just find things that you enjoy, find things that you think are meaningful. One thing that I find meaningful is playing video games with my brothers, my family, you know. They're an absolute joy to to have fun with and some people would say that that's a waste of time and and for some video games might be a waste of time but for me it's a bonding activity so we really get closer by by bonding and doing those things and for me when I'm by myself doing uh, video games and stuff it's just just a way to relax and and kind of express my feelings and you know find that little escape in the in a world that doesn't exist uh, i don't obviously i'm not one of those people that really feels like that that that's the world i prefer to live in uh, that's that's the world that i prefer to kind of escape in and let my stress out in it's not it's not the real world but it's that the little place where i can kind of play hide and seek with my feelings i guess where i can where i can ex feel things you know just let it all out and then and then kind of think about myself when i'm playing games like this by myself uh i, I just usually just get into my feels i think about things you know i, I really kind of understand where i think i am in my life through my own perspective and then i can and kind of ex if, you know i can either feel good or i can feel like you know maybe i need to improve somewhere but the most important thing to remember is that it's just, it's all about perspective and it's what you want. So if you want to improve yourself, you want to make yourself a better person, just find those things that you think are super meaningful that are worth your time, you know. Start with that, focus on those types of things and I think you'll really be surprised at how awesome you actually are uh, as well as how awesome you can become. And that's really just about it. That's what I want to let you guys know. So uh, just leave a comment down below. Let me know, t let me know what, the, what types of things you find a lot of joy in. What types of things that you think uh, people overemphasize when it comes to like improving yourself. 
You know, it's all about introspection and, and figuring out what really resonates with you because what resonates with you won't resonate with other people. And you are the most important person that you can focus on. And once you do that, you can find other people that you can help and focus on as well. You can kind of expand out and start to turn outward instead of in. And, and you find those things that are just better for yourself, for the community and the people that you really care about. So, yeah, that's about it. And go out there and do something awesome today because you are awesome. I, I truly know that. And I believe that every every person has a chance to do something super meaningful today. So go out and do it.